welcome back. Today I'm coming to you with a video on a YouTube tag that's going around YouTube. I feel like YouTube here is a community and I'm so happy to be a part of this community. It has been such a blessing in my life um, to be able to share some of myself with you all as well as learn so much from so many other YouTubers. So I figured to be a better participant in the community, it would be good to do a couple tag videos and have a little fun. Also, this gives you a way to get to know a little bit more about me. So the tag, I have my questions over here. The tag that I'm going to be doing today is the secret life of a YouTuber, okay? And so the first question, how long have you been on YouTube? I have been a watcher of YouTube and I had an old channel, um, which is about four years old, I would say. And I made one introductory video and mostly I pretty much um, posted videos of like my kids and their dance rehearsal and stuff like that. It wasn't really content focused like this channel. So this channel has been active for just over a year and a half. So we'll say about five years. However, I've been actively making content. Excuse my earring is feeling like it's trying to fall off. Okay. <laughs> I've been actively um, making content for YouTube about a year and a half. Okay, next question. At what, at what point do you think you will stop? I look at the opportunity here on YouTube as a tremendous opportunity. It is also a way of documenting um, my journey or just documenting my life. Also, I do think it is a way of um, passing down a legacy. So as long as the internet is alive and YouTube is alive and kicking my children's children and their children as well, hopefully, we'll be able to look back on this and get to know me a little bit more. So I said all that to say, I'm going to do this as long as I possibly can and as long as I have the drive and desire to do so. Okay. What is the best thing? The best thing, I guess what this is referring to the best thing about YouTube the best thing I think overall about YouTube for me is connecting with all of you. When I started making my videos, I did it twofold. Number one, to see if I could pass along information and help someone else. Um, really that was my biggest drive because whatever I do, I hope to inspire or to um, just to help encourage others. And even if it's just my screen just went down. Even if it's just from learning from my mistakes or what have you, my goal was to hopefully help someone else. And so I'll have to say that connecting with all of you is definitely the best thing about YouTube. Okay, the worst thing. And what do you do to make it okay? The worst thing, if there has to be a worst, because thus far I've had a very positive experience and I do believe uh, what you put out into the world is what you get back in return. Not to say that there aren't negative things or hateful people that come at you regardless of what, what you do. There are just people who do that. For me, I haven't had the negative type experience. I would say um, the spammers. That's the only worst thing. People constantly reaching out to you, not based on your content really, but people who um, just really want to sell you something. So they're always sending you messages, um, people who don't even watch you or people who aren't affiliated with you at all, they're constantly sending you their content or their messages. And I think that's the worst thing. But other than that, that's if there has to be a worst thing. That's easily um, fixed with the delete button. And if I have to block you, I will block you. And I've, I've had to block a couple people who are on the internet just to really, really cause havoc and to stalk people. And so that's what blocking is for. That's how I look at it. So the next question is, how many thumbnail options do you usually take? So the thumbnail is how you, the little picture that's on the video. So the first 
uh, photo that you see when you see the new video content. And for me, I usually just take one or two. I'm not obsessed with that. I don't take a hundred. And another thing too about that is I'm still very new to learning how to create videos, learning how to create different things. So I'm not trying to overdo it. You know, I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I take one or two and that's it. Not to say that it won't get more in the future. It won't be more, but right now I'm not obsessive and I'm not doing the most. YouTuber crush. Uh, let's see. I think I'm too old for crushes. Maybe my husband if he was making videos. <laughs> okay, who's on your collab wish list? Hmm. That's a good question. Who would I like to collaborate with for videos? Um... I'd like to collaborate with someone regarding natural hair. So with that, I have um, Shari J, who I love, or Denise Zakia. I love her as well. And they're both local to Michigan. So I'm using them as an example. Um, as far as Trim Healthy Mama, I'd love to be in a video with the sisters who created the book, Pearl and Serene. I just love them. I love their spirit. And um, a lot of my recipes that I make are Trim Healthy Mama based because those are that's the eating plan that I follow. So I would love to collaborate with them and make a video. Okay, let's see. What are you wearing on your bottom half? That is a weird question. I have on some high-waisted black jeans from... <laughs> from forever 21 i think a lot of times people make videos and they may have on like pajamas or something at the bottom me i don't really do that i use my videos in the time in which i you know find convenient and one thing about me too i get dressed all the way every day so i don't really lounge around in my pajamas unless i'm not feeling well and i usually don't film videos when i don't feel well okay next question how long until you actually click record. I like my videos to be somewhat candid and so I don't rehearse a lot. Not to say that that's not a good thing, but for me, I may have an idea of what I'm going to say and I may start to say it to make sure that I'm not tongue tied and then I will hit record. So 15, 20 seconds. I don't rehearse constantly. How do you feel about the YouTube community and culture? I think the YouTube community and culture is very, very awesome. There are a lot of awesome people on YouTube, but also in any atmosphere where you have different personalities and all kinds of people, there are always people that try to bring in negativity, but I don't flock to those people. If I find people's channel, when I find some content that I find interesting and um, entertaining even, I will stick around as long as there is positivity. As once I see videos that have nothing to do with uplifting anyone or the world around us and it's a lot of negativity, usually I unsubscribe or I move on. Overall, though, I think it's an awesome, awesome community. And I'm so happy for all of you guys that are part of my little neck of the woods abiding in him daily. Okay. This is second to last question. What is your secret to a successful YouTube channel? I don't know if I would say uh, mine has reached that large audience where you would say, oh, it's so successful, but I also don't have three subscribers. So something I'm doing must be beneficial to others, other people. I think, in my opinion, you need to have good content, have a focus. You also need to be yourself. Don't get in front of the camera trying to um, do what you think may be appropriate or not necessarily appropriate because you want to do what's appropriate. Um, but what I mean by that is don't, don't try to do what you think will draw people. Okay. You want people, if you're yourself and you're a lovable, likable person, which somebody will always, even if it's just one or two people, someone will always find you lovable or likable. I don't care what end of the spectrum you're on as far as eccentric, etc. Just be yourself. That's what will draw people. Don't get into and uh, sort of acting, so to speak, unless that's what you're drawing people by, which is your acting skills or comedy. Other than that, just be yourself. And um, also, I think being consistent, 
I notice with my channel it doesn't grow unless I'm making videos so be consistent and my final question is who do I tag and I want to tag Laura at my Titus 2 journey I'd like to tag hmm I watched this via the gate fix so I already have her and you know what? I tag anybody else who wants to do the video. I'm tagging Laura. Laura, if you have time, because I know you have a busy thing going on there with your blog and your family, but if you do have time, go ahead and do the tag. And that's my husband coming in the house. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I have another tag about YouTube and being a stay-at-home mom that I'm going to do just to give you more, a little bit more information about me and another opportunity know me better i'm so 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 glad to have you all here and being a part of my channel and um, i hope you guys did enjoy this tag i'm looking forward to doing more things like this um, just so that our family here on youtube can continue to grow and you'll get to know us a lot better here okay so thank you love so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you find this video entertaining or you'd like to do one Feel free to share. If you do do one, please do leave it down in the comments below because I'd love to watch yours, okay? Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.